Okay, now it looks more readable. Now there is really a lot that you can do here. Uh, for example, I can create a link that brings you back to the beginning of the uh, list. Uh, for that we can use the first function. So uh, I'm going to just copy and paste this here because that was difficult to type. And I'm going to get the page to be first and um, I'm going to call it beginning just take that out okay so uh, I can go to the beginning and get to the first page now if you're already on the first page you don't want this to be linked up uh, so we're going to check for the existence of any pages below that so if um, there are no more pages below where we are already then we don't want it to be uh, linked up uh, for that we're going to check the status of the previous function we're going to do is set this previous and display the link only if there is indeed a page less than where we are already otherwise don't link it up so there beginning gets a link only if we are anywhere else other than the first page now we can do the same for the end uh, we're going to display the end link only if there is actually the next page available Otherwise, it means we're already at the end. Um, I'm just copy and paste that. And if there is a next, then we are going to go to last. And that's going to be our end link. Let's see what that looks like now. Okay, so we got an end link, and um, if we're already at an end, it's not getting um, link. Okay, just fix up some of the styling issues here. Now I can play around some more with this and I can provide links to do previews and next from where we currently are. Uh, so if I want to go to previews, well once again I want to make sure that I am accessing it only if there is actually a previous link. So if there is a previews, I am going to go backward hmm. uh, you might actually want to include a like triangle image here showing the arrow to the left and um, I want to do the same thing for the next link Again, only available if there is actually a next available. If it is, 
then next with the greater than sign. So let's see what that turned out like. Okay, so now I have a next and previous if I'm somewhere in the middle and I can uh, cycle through it like that. Uh, this looks incredibly ugly. You might want to style this up with a style sheet or something. Okay. You may also find it useful to show the users where they are exactly out of how many pages. And for that we can uh, use page count to show the total. Uh, so we can do showing where we are out of how many there are in total. And let's see what it looks like now. There. So we are on 3 out of 4, on 2 out of 4. Uh, we can cycle through them and we can jump to the end and we can jump to the beginning. So you really can do anything with this combination of the um, pagination item cycling and the pagination controls in the uh, partial view. Uh, for example, you can create some grids. Uh, this here would be the uh, cycling for the pagination and this here would be your uh, partial view with the pagination controls. Um, there is really much of a limit of what you can do here. Uh, so there you are, you're done with pagination.